Hi, I'm Tamara the Scove with your solar storm forecast for the week of February 19th. Well, as promised, there's been very little activity on the sun this week. We're kind of in that dead zone where nothing really is happening. We did have that one solar filament that we thought was going to lift off the sun, but it's managed to hang on and it's snaking now around the west side of the limb. We'll be monitoring that as it rotates around the backside. We also have region 2282, which is in a state of decay, and we've got a couple other regions that are trying to form, but they're really not getting there yet. The only thing we're waiting for is some of these bright regions you see that are just behind the east limb. As those rotate into view, we might see a return of activity. Switching to our M flare threat meter, you can see the last M class flare we had was back on February 10th, and it's basically plummeted since then. In the last couple days, we've been pretty much flatlined, way below the seafloor. So, you amateur radio operators and emergency responders expect that continue to continue for over the next few days until those bright regions on the east limb uh, pump up the activity again. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see things actually got really quiet starting around the 12th and they remained really quiet over the last few days until we had that solar storm grazing passage and fast wind kind of combination that managed to pop the levels back up past storm level and gave us some gorgeous aurora as well as some amateur radio disruptions over the past 24 hours or so. And this brought us beautiful aurora all around the world. We had aurora australis in New Zealand. We had green aurora in Sweden. We had rare blue aurora seen in Norway. We also had aurora as far south as Ireland and even North England. We also had gorgeous aurora in Iceland and aurora, a ton of aurora in Canada, including Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Ontario. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And you see this big bright region kind of at the southern part of the disk here rotating around. That's the one we're waiting to uh, show up on the east limb. And it's right next to what looks to be a coronal hole. So that may be the reason why it keeps spitting off solar storms. And also, you can see there's more activity right there. Boom. Do you see that? That is another ejection. But that region won't reach us probably for another 10 days. Returning to the disk, you can see region 2282 is rotating off of the west limb, and you have the remnants of 2284 that are kind of decaying. We do have a couple new regions that are growing. 2286 is growing, and there's a couple other new regions, but not a lot of activity right at the moment. What we're really waiting for is that bright region that's the remnants of 2279. When that rotates back onto the disk, if it has some strong magnetic complexity, it may mean that we can up the flare potential over the next few days. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the next few days, NOAA is giving us about a 25% chance of a minor storm at high latitudes due to that waning high-speed stream uh, that is passing through. And at mid-latitudes, we're only expecting about a 15% chance of active conditions. And then things really should kind of settle down as we don't have any Earth-directed solar storms uh, in the near future. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the next few days, as you can see, everything is basically green. That's because we have very little activity on the Earth's side disk. NOAA has only given us about a 1% chance of an M-class flare over the next few days. And depending upon what that East Limb region does, uh, if it has any magnetic complexity, we might see an increase in the flare potential to 5 maybe 10% uh, near the end of the week. But uh, you amateur radio operators, you shouldn't have any issues with the bands due to flares this week. So the past couple of days have given us a really nice dose of aurora pretty much all over the world. And that's come from that grazing solar storm blow along with that enhanced fast wind uh, that should be waning now in the next 24 hours or so. Along with that, we have very little activity on the Earth-facing disk right now in terms of flares. So pretty much enjoy the quiet over the next few days, at least until that east limb region begins to rotate into earth view and we get a better look at it to see whether or not it has any magnetic complexity at all. If that's the case, then activity might start ramping up again. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.